Hello and welcome back. So in this part we're going to work on the uh, hardware. So uh, we're going to basically do uh, the radiators and uh, all the chrome work uh, within this scene. And there's quite a lot of chrome but we're only going to be using a uh, preset uh, from the Loxology Modo uh, asset bank. So we're going to go over to uh, within the assets here we're going to find materials we're going to find metals. Now, I did try some aluminium and I touched some chrome. I also tried some like um, copper and they all look pretty good to be honest. So, uh, we'll go with the chrome. Uh, but if we change it when we come to the final render, it's only a case of dragging the next one over so it's not uh, anything too too bad. So, we're just going to go over to items and we'll start. I'm going to start on the, the part of the scene where there's no. Uh, assets other than chrome in it. So what we'll do, we'll do the radiator first. I'm just going to uh, select the radiator. I'm on the items mode. Select the radiator. Or you can select it within the scene camera there. I'm going to hit M to make a new material. And I'm just going to call this chrome. And I'm going to come over to the chrome here. Now I'm going to go for the the, the uh, chromium plated for now. Although it does look a wee bit to mirrory I believe so we may go down to the, the burnished uh, but we'll uh, just drag that onto the chrome for now the material this material 6 here we, this is what came in when the actual when we hit the M key and made uh, the group called chrome so we don't need that anymore because the actual one we dragged from here you'll see has got a material within there so I'm just going to get the old one there I'm just going to delete it and these two which came in with this uh, chromium I'm going to drag into mine and just delete that that's just so we haven't got nested uh, materials it doesn't really matter it will still render the same just to keep things nice and tidy within the uh, in the shader tree okay so I'm going to bomb along this wall now this is the flusher for the toilet so I'm just going to hit M it's already on chrome because that was the last one I had I'm just going to hit OK. In here, I've got the tap, M key, chrome, and uh, the taps, M key, chrome. Now, whilst we're here in this uh, the B day bit, you'll see if you select it items you'll see there's already white porcelain on all these sections and also these uh, covers but I'm just going to go over to polys I'm going to double click on these just to select those uh, like plug covers and I'm going to hit M key and chrome just to override those now you'll see within uh, the BDA group there is two materials okay so I'm going to like I say there's quite a bit of chrome in this scene okay I'm going to come back to that one in a minute. Uh, so there's my uh, taps there. I'm going to hit M key chrome. Now what I have done, I've put these little bits on the end. So I'm going to just going to grab them. I'm going to copy, and while I'm here, I'm going to come into the uh, the BD handles I'm going to paste and I'm just going to rotate these these round I'm just going to come over to a top view. I'm just going to put them on there as well. That they're just going to be like little uh, hot and cold.
I'm just let them hit control D just to turn them into sub D so we're gonna have to come back to those okay back over in the render tab items okay we'll just make sure we've put chrome on there the reason I'm coming back to some of these is because uh, there's different materials on there I'm just gonna make sure I've done all the chrome first so here I'm just going to select all of it so it'll be easy just to come over to lists select all, hold down the control key double click on the shelves just unselect them, M key chrome okay well I'm now going to go around again and we're going to do the multiple objects so in here we've got the B-Day taps okay let's go over to items just so I've got those selected now I'm going to come out chrome for the minute and I'm going to come to plastic out of metals plastic medium gloss if there's a medium gloss okay there's the red and the blue ready so that'll that'll do us so I'm just going to select uh, the bit on the top there I'm going to hit M, I'm going to hit red I'm going to type red plastic I'm going to drag red plastic onto there, now same again we're going to delete the material that came in with the actual original red plastic, drag the new material out and delete the subgroup then we do the same for this one, I'm basically going to select that and uh, I'm going to type in blue plastic so now once we've done this once, when we come to the other uh, buttons on the taps then we're good to go, so I'm going to grab the blue delete the original take the material out and delete the group Okay. I just want to check this here. I'm just going to come out again. I'm just going to go into rubber. Just like dark grey. Now, in here, I'm, I've selected it with using the items just so I've already got the group. Uh, the sort of um, object type thing selected, so I'm now going to go over to polys now I'm not going to be able to do this with a selection as such I'm just going to come over to the top here now what I want, I want basically I'll select 2, hit L to loop round select 2, L to loop round select to L to loop round select to L I'm holding down the shift selecting to L and then I'm going to come into there and I'm going to hit M black rubber and I'm going to black, drag black rubber on there. Now we're going to delete the material there. All these I'm going to drag out and I'm going to delete the, the black rubber there. Now I'm going to save it because it started to lag a bit there, and that's a telltale sign that Unity is, uh, sorry, Unity, it's a fraudulent slip. A lot of my uh, tutorials will do a Unity. Uh, Modo is going to crash. So, and by the way, talking of Unity, if you uh, do uh, dabble with Unity, there's some great tutorials on the Polypusher website for Unity. Okay, so I'm doing the same again. I'm holding down the Shift key. I'm selecting two just so the loop knows which way to go. Basically, I'm going to come inside now and uh, just select two again. 
Now I know a lot of these bits in here are going to be just, you know, they're not even seen. Hit the M key, black rubber. They're not they're not seen or, but even so, it's, it's good to get as much detail in the materials in as you can, just because it does affect the lighting. And not perhaps for little things like that, obviously. But you know, if we did a close up of this B day, like an item cam, you'd see that sort of black rubber there reflected in that uh, chrome so that just that's one of those things if you've got the time to put you know go around now this piece here we're going to go items again now I'm selecting the whole thing first and I'm just going to put M now this is chrome so we're going to just drag down to chrome and this is a light switch so I've got polygon selected now That's over here. That's a that's in purple, so that basically means it's a uh, instance. So here's the original one over here. Okay, so M Chrome. Now I'm going to come over to I'm going to come over to Polys. I'm going to select these two. Basically, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select. This little lip. In there. Black. Black plastic. Okay, so I'm going to come out of rubber. We're going to go back into medium gloss plastic. Yeah, again, save away, especially if you're using the Mac. I used to use Modo uh, 501 on the Mac and I had no end of crashes, so it's uh, it's good to get into the habit of saving regularly. I'm going to come back to that because we were working around here, so let's go back over here. Okay, so we've done the Chrome. So then Polly's select the little piece on the end there now I'm red plastic for that so that's the beauty of calling your net uh, your materials by what it is as opposed to like uh, tap handle red or something just so they're just so reusable then rather than you having to worry about what objects uh, got what materials on you can just look down the list and say I want a blue plastic okay so we're coming along here See most of the assets actually in this uh in this scene are chromium. So I'm putting the chrome on there. Now in here As far down as say there, I'm putting in black plastic. Now here, Them key and put black rubber. Just go over to a top view. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna delete that. Copy a new one in. Actually, in the bathtub down here, 
select it with the items and then go into uh, polys double click on that so that's going to be chrome now if it ends up we change all these chromes to say copper we can just sort of go into the chrome uh, material here in any of the objects and just uh, just change it change the color change how reflective it is it's and it'll, it'll automatically then sort of obviously go around the scene and update all the other instances of you using Chrome. I just want to be careful I don't get this. I'm just making sure I have the white one there, it's just the bump image I'm seeing. I thought that's gone some crazy material. Okay, so we're coming around. We did the chrome there. I believe we've still got these legs to do under here. No. Yeah, we've still got the tap to do. Chrome now in here, we've got an extra few pieces I'm going to take this piece along here just do that again That's why you can only take one at a time. If you take two, it thinks you're going that way. So you need to be a bit careful and not quite go as quite as riskily as I am at the moment. Okay, so I've got them ones down as far maybe as as there. Black plastic. And then these ones. Also, I've got. rubber. Now these at the end here I've got my red plastic and my blue it must be something to do with screen capture making it 
flick like that. I'm hoping after this, fingers crossed, it's recorded all this video. Okay, so that's done. So all we've got left to do is this socket. So this is a chromium again. I want to get this. Just gonna take my time. Less haste, more speed, as my father always used to say. Make sure we've only got the bits we need. Okay. Nearly done now. Okay. So I'm thinking, fingers crossed, that that is the uh, hardware done. We've still got the lights to do, but there's enough in this part for the moment. So what we'll do, I'll do a render now. And when we come back in the next part, uh, we'll finish off the we'll do the wood uh, for the um, sink bench there, the shelves, and the frame around the mirror. So I'll see you back for that part. Bye for now.